Hey, Doc Jones here from the Homegrown Herbalist School of Botanical Medicine, and this is baneberry. So baneberry is Actea arguta, and uh, it's a pretty common plant uh, over a lot of North America. It usually, um, at least here in Idaho, uh, where we see it and find it is usually near water, near creeks and things. Um, it's usually sort of in a shadier area when I find it. And I haven't found a lot of it, but I've seen it a few times in the wild. Um, but uh, the leaf and the root are the medicine. The root is stronger. The berry is toxic. It's poisonous. Uh, that's why they call it bane berry, right? Bane is bad. So don't eat the berries. Um, but the root and the leaf are medicinal. It's very similar to black cohosh uh, and their cousins. And so uh, you can use it for the same sorts of things. It's a very good muscle relaxant. It's an antispasmodic, okay? So you can use it for uh, any kind of muscle cramping, uh, muscle tension. Um, you can use it for uh, any kind of pain to also, uh, especially if the pain is related to muscle cramping, but not only if it's related to muscle cramping. I've used it on arthritis cases. Um, it's also... Uh, got some phytoestrogen-like compounds in it that can be used for uh, menopause symptoms, like black cohosh can. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and in fact, I, I discovered that sort of by accident. I was um, treating a dog for uh, arthritis, and I have an arthritis formula, and it has a little black cohosh in it, and you could use baneberry instead. But it has that in it already. And then... Uh, the dog started having some urinary incontinence, and in dogs, in female spade dogs at least, uh, urinary incontinence is almost always an estrogen deficiency. And so if you have a dog that's, that when she lays down and relaxes, the pee flows out of her, that's an estrogen deficiency. And w what happens is that there's two little sphincter muscles, right? The little guys that keep your bladder from emptying out. There's an internal one and an external one. The external one is voluntary. You have control of that one. And the internal one is involuntary, so you don't have control. So when the dogs are awake, uh, you know, they control their external one and they don't pee on your floor. But when they fall asleep, that one relaxes. And since the internal one is also relaxed, the pee comes pouring out. Uh, the internal sphincter on a dog's bladder is an estrogen-dependent muscle. And so if there's not enough estrogen, then, then that's the symptom. You know, that's what happens. And so they'll be laying down, usually asleep or very relaxed, and, and they'll just urinate. And so this dog started doing that. And I said, ah, you need some baneberry, right? Or some black cohosh. I don't remember which one I gave her and it doesn't matter. Um, but uh, so I started giving her that for the estrogen deficiency. Uh, and she was also on my arthritis formula. And the, the gal was actually my vet tech was her dog. She said, wow, Penny is like way more mobile than she used to be. <laughs> this is really. And so that's the day I started putting a lot more uh, black cohosh or baneberry in my arthritis formula because it really helped. So pain, muscle contracture, muscle tension, muscle spasms. Um, and the uterus is a muscle, right? So you can use it for uterine cramps and menstrual cramps. Um, again, it's got the estrogen stuff in it, so it's good for uh, hot flashes and menopausal things. So really a great plant. Again, don't eat the berries. They're poisonous. The leaf and the root are the medicine. I've only ever used the root. Um, but... Uh, that's the guy. They're kind of cute. There's another species that that the berries are white. Uh, but be very careful to not eat the berries, like I said. So anyway, Baneberry. This is Doc Jones from the Homegrown Herbalist School. If you like learning about herbs, uh, you might have a look at the Homegrown Herbalist School. We have a full program. You can do it online. I've got students in Australia and New Zealand and Africa and South America and all over the place, all over the United States, obviously. But uh, we'd be happy to join you on that journey. Like the video, share it with your friends, then they can learn about herbs and uh, we can extend our reach. And we're sure grateful when you do things like that. So thanks very much and thanks for watching.